Welcome everyone, Quastini here on Serious Gaming with my let's play of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord Early Access. The game that we have all been waiting for for quite a while now. It's been a long, long time since the developer has made the full proper title. And it's very much welcome to have a modern version or a more updated version, you could say, of Mountain Blade. So you have your character's culture, you have the Vlandians. Uh, Sturgeons, Empire, SRI, uh, Kuzates, and Batanians. So this uh, will decide uh, not only a bonus here, which can be somewhat significant, uh, but also like your starting uh, area. I'm gonna go with the Empire. The Coloradian Empire is in decline even before the murder of Emperor uh, Aaron Nikos, the once united realm was torn by political rivalries. Today these factions are in open war, yet Coloradians endure. They are technologically more advanced than their neighbors and their mastery of engineering is not just evident in their aqueducts, beautiful architecture and massive city walls. It also makes them experts in siege warfare. Okay, so you have your character. Uh, I am going to Okay, various options here. Right, I think I will go with that. Right, eyes, let's go. Let's see what, uh, okay. Right, then eh, nose. Oh. All right. Or maybe I could just randomize it all. Indeed. Yeah, I'd say that works actually. Okay, face. Yeah, I'd say this is fine as a base for what I'm going to do. Uh, hair, go bald, because I, I really don't like a lot of the hairstyles. Beard-wise though, quite a few beard options, aren't there? Indeed. I'm not entirely convinced on this. Uh, yep. Let me try again, and again. Yeah, I'd say that works a bit better, probably. Or maybe not. Okay. Form a shield wall! Stand fast! Pull back! Make a circle! Let them advance! Alright, so character creation complete. You're born into a family of... Uh Landlords, retainers, urban merchants, freeholders, urban artisans, uh, foresters, okay. Cunning, scouting and bow, smithing, crossbow, athletics and uh, riding and polearm, okay. One point to vigor. What does vigor do exactly? Master of the spear, lance, okay with uh, two-handed weapons of average length such as bigger axes and swords and one-handed all oh, right well i would probably have to go with 
One focus point to riding. One focus point to trade and charm. Yeah, I'll go with the uh, landlord's retainers. Okay. As a child, you were noted for your uh, leadership skills. I'd say that goes herded the sheep. What does athletics, physical speed, uh, fitness, speed, and all right. Yeah, herded the sheep, gathered herbs. To bow and tactics, okay. And join the commander's staff to steward and tactics. Trained with the cavalry. Stood guard with the garrisons. Now I think this will also de uh, determine. Yeah, I think I'll go with the commander's staff. You defeated an enemy in battle. Yes. You subdue the raider like many families in Calridia. Your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property. Okay, your parents were slain and your two young, less, uh, youngest siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because, well, uh, yeah, you subdued. You organized the travelers to break out. Okay, let's go with... I win. Yeah, why not? Okay, uh, this is the lowest difficulty. Player received damage. I'll, I'd say reduced, just because you, you can't take a lot of damage. I'm going to go with realistic. Um, reduced for friendly parties, just because I'm not entirely convinced... Uh, Yeah, because I don't want them to die just because they're they're completely stupid. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. There are only three difficulty settings. They're very easy, easy and realistic. Brother, it's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Fasos and Aaliyah? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush off our skills. The practice could come up useful when we catch with the raiders. Okay. So you think we'll catch up with the raiders soon? The tracks look fresh and I've seen some smoke in the horizon. They can't move too quickly if they're still looting and raiding. So, no, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to rescue the little ones or die trying. I'm going to run the course. I need to know... I. I can fight if I have to. Okay, so the tutorial, combat tutorial, movements, all that. One of the important things you want to do when you start the game is go to gameplay and just switch this to control block direction, control attack direction by movement keys. You can mess around with that depending on your preference. I just don't like using the mouse for that. So this is a sword and it will uh, teach you. Okay. Okay, so that's with the sword. Let's go with sword and shield training. Okay. There we go. All right, the actual fight, uh, actual uh, advanced melee training.
The controls are as they are in Mountain Blade and how they've always been in Mountain Blade. Okay. Yeah, does it get uh, get used to it? Pick up a training sword. Come on. So he's gone. Yeah. Crazy wild swings. That works. All right, spear. Spear and shield. One of the simplest combinations in the history of mankind. He doesn't really have good defenses. Oh. He's gone. Alright, time for some range training. So that's just the basic uh, training uh, for for the weaponry, nothing too special. Range training lies ahead, and then uh, hiding. Okay. All right. So with the crossbow, it does take a while to load, but it does have a lot of power behind it. Twenty-three seconds. Let's get the javelin. Don't miss. You press down shift. Oh, gotta aim a bit higher. Go. Already one seven. All right, bow. Okay. A lot of people do use the bow playing this, like you can find a lot of videos from people playing this with bow and arrow. 
Just because getting in melee is so... Uh, gets you so easily killed. There we go. 36 seconds. A bit slower than I would have liked. Anyway. So I have a Gambeson. Let's see. Uh, horse archery. Okay, don't want to stop. Giant targets. Oh, get that over there and slow down. Okay. I use it too late because that happens. Die you pig! Die, you pig. Yeah, that hint detection. Uh, Not gonna stop though. Lose one of your main advantages. Of course, there is a penalty. Okay. Okay, missed a few. But it does feel a lot easier to get the target with uh, with the spear. But the problem is, of course, uh, that in third person, <laughs> being a third person, it kind of is difficult to see. 
what you're aiming at. Okay, so that's all the tutorials. Uh, let me see some options over here. Okay, gameplay, melee, uh, turn camera, or... Okay, so I feel a bit more comfortable doing it with uh, in first person than in third person. Just easier to aim. Like that. Like that. Missed one. Just simply missed it. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Ooh. Okay. The spear is great if you're trying to hit something in front of you. With the sword, you pretty much have to hit from the side. Okay. Let's go. Alright, training field. We have party morale 53. Number of consumable items. Okay. Battle ready troops. Okay, so tutorial mode. Well, we're here, I guess. So we need food and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The headman here can probably help us. Let's try and find him. Okay. Ah, there we go. Cadman Vadris. Yeah, I think I'll play a lot of this in first person. Okay, let's see. I'm Vadris, headman of this village. What brings you here? We need help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. We think they may have passed this way. They got your people too? Sorry to hear that. Those bastards have done a lot of killing and looting in these parts as well. We think they have gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who will join you in going after them if you'll pay for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I, need a I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. Okay. Let's leave. So I have my brother recruit troops. These guys are actually pretty solid, believe it or not. Okay, supporter. Thank you. 
Mama. Okay. Let's see if I found what he needed. Now, about the matter I mentioned earlier. There is this wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time. Name of Tacteos. Treats people for free. We're fond of him. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though wouldn't tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type, just a kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. We're worried about him. If you can keep out uh, an eye out for him, this Tacteus, we'd be very grateful. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little more about his quest. Okay, let's get out of here. So, uh, and no more troops, so let's leave. Let's get these raiders. Okay, there are two parties of raiders. That's not an issue, though. That's, uh... <laughs> That's not quite what I want to see, anyway. Give them hell. Yeah, the... It kind of bugged out, didn't it? There we go. Damn it. Oof. Alright, so there's uh Alright. Okay. Well took some damage there. Go, 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 boys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with... Uh... Are they throwing fruit at me? It does sure seem like they are. Okay. He's dead. 
Okay. All right, you rescued several prisoners that the raiders had been dragging along. They looked parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, one staggers to his feet and comes over to you. I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. Those brigands would have marched us to our de deaths. My name is Tectaos. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this kind of thing. I was with the caravan and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if uh, just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed without any water and I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of heat stroke come creeping up and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group had come along, maybe I had have a way to thank you properly. I am afraid I haven't seen any children, but after your caravan, after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they call uh, Radagos, took and rode off with our more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. He seemed to be the control uh, to be controlling more than one band, one raiding band around this area. If this lot has your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing left of value to repay your help, I'll tell you this: if you do catch up with the and defeat. The ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value, if you knew where to sell it. I was trying to find out more about it, but as I say, I've had all my urge for traveling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces. Okay. Uh, but I got that from a mercenary whom I treated once and swore it was related to Naretsi's Folly. I don't know what that means except that Narizis was, of course, the emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you can find out its true value. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. Okay. Right. Right, so we have the bandit camp. Let's go get him. I 
very well. Alright, so my guys are quite capable of dishing out a lot of damage on them. Alright, just keep going. We'll find what we want eventually. Oh, so there's one there, okay. Where in the world? I really don't know. Oh, okay. So here is the band leader. So, who's this that comes from my place of business, killing my employees? We heard you took our little brother and sister, where are they? Good heaven, I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested a dozen of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them south to slave market, I know though. Since your hunt for your king is ruthless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that, or I force you to lick all your blood you've spilled here with your tongues. Or, you and I could settle this one on one. Very well. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, so this is just a tutorial. I'm curious what happens, like I could uh, just order the army to attack, that's not the problem. But I am genuinely curious what, uh, yep. Yeah. Just charge. You're free to do whatever you want. But yeah, I do... Yeah, 
Go kill all of them. Okay. He does have a reasonable number of men. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagast and his gang. I found this strange looking metal piece though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Tactus uh, was talking about. Maybe you can sell it off to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. Alright then. I have a better idea. We would be uh, have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagast and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free their children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that though. I'll need to take those men with us. Radagast is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. So you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? Indeed. You'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this uh, bronze thing can help. Tacteo said that it could be worth a fortune to the right person. If you manage to not to get killed, he, if he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. One more thing, when you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from a distant but distinguished family. Alright, you can use our family name if you like, or make up a new one. You'll have a better chance of obtaining an audience audience or nobles and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. Okay, Tywin Lannister. Let's go. Alright, get out on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. Okay. Alright, you are free to explore.
I'm Tywin, and who are you? I am Nortos, I own land around here, I speak for many people in the village. I have a quick question. I must leave now. Okay. Let's see. Let's see about this fellow. I am... My name is Tywin, okay. All right. All right, fight me if you dare. Okay. All right, let's attack. Will give him hell. Okay, take all. Blacksmith hammer. Okay. More bandits. Fight me if you dare. Five bandits against my party of seven. At them! Indeed. Have at thee. Where are these guys anyway? Ah! 
Oh. Well, I can pay a bribe. All right, then.
Okay. Going around the streets here. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right, ransom the prisoners. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can't take a seat, unfortunately. All right, there is no work for me. Okay. My name is Tywin, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, 
I would like to enter a service, okay. Emperor Noretzis led an army accompanied by Quasits and Esrai to fight the coalition of Sergians, Batanians, and Flandians. It was a disaster for him. He died in it, but the victors didn't fare much better. Hmm. Cancel. Alright, so I need to level up. That much is clear. Okay. All right, let's attack. Follow me, boys. Well, there aren't that many of them anyway, so...
So I need to get more cash and uh, recruit a companion, which isn't too big of an issue. And then offer my sword and service to someone. Okay. 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 Attack. Go, go, go. Charge in. Let's see how much she'll want for uh, or he. Oh, there's no one here actually. Maybe on the lower level. Just need money.
surrender or die. Guess they will die. <laughs> All right then. Charge! Fighting bandits. Easy. All right. You'll never take us alive. Oh, I think I will. With me. Attack. Charge Ryan. Easy enough. All right, forest bandits. At them!
All right, attack. All right, well, I'm taking his pieces one by one. Hmm. Okay. 
That does it. Alright, he hasn't taken a single one of my pieces. I'm getting the hang of this. Alright. Lucan, ruler of the Northern Empire. <laughs> Alright, so I need money. All right, bandits roam the land of the Northern Empire. Give them hell. Okay. Okay then, let's see what the Lord has to say, if there is any around here. Where is this guy?
Okay, his turn. Let's see what he's gonna do. Hmm. Okay. First piece. All right, let me master this as defenders, then I'll worry about that. I'm guessing there will be a lot of games of this to play to earn some money. Now people say, oh, go talk with Luca, and I'm like, okay. Another one down. Alright, Christine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.